Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today's episode is going to be a very exciting one because I have a special <laughs> guest, my <laughs> eldest sister, Miss Dani Barreto Panilio. Welcome to me. <laughs> so it's been a, such a long time since we actually been planning to make a video yeah, together. So we can never find of the perfect content for her channel, for my yeah. channel, but. I decided when I wanted to make videos with my sister, I wanted to be a little bit deeper, not really as <laughs> funny, not really as light. You much also, a challenge ako ganun. Hindi naman, but it's going to be a light experience too. So this video is going to be very similar to the video I was able to do with Julia. Questions I've never asked my sister. I plan to do that with all my family All of members us, okay. Because this is also a good opportunity for you and I to get to know each other in a more personal, <laughs> deeper... <laughs> this is Are you ready? Okay, game. She had a shoot up before this, huh? so thank you for actually making the time. Am I just not the sister of I know, the year? I know, like she was working the whole day from 6 a.m. But you know, she wanted to please my subscribers. <laughs> Okay, the first mm. question is really, really simple, and okay. I really want to know okay. why am I your favorite brother? Oh my god, well, because you're just the only one. <laughs> okay, okay. In all seriousness, that wasn't really the first question. Do you remember your initial reaction when you found out you were going to have a brother given you were an ate for years to Julia and Claudia? Yeah. Only sisters. I was so happy. It literally a new feeling because mm -hmm. I was so used to having girls. having girls and then all of a sudden when mom said you were having a boy I was ecstatic because I was like oh my god that's so cute what would the boy look like plus I was at that time I was 10 years old so yes, I was fully fully aware of everything but I know I was really happy and when you were born we have a photo like I was like a mom already at 10 years old like with sparkly googly <laughs> eyes I was really happy because Actually, each sibling that was born, I just like the fact that we were a lot na at that time. We were four. So, That's we a were lot four of kids. Na. But you know, up to this day, I still can't believe that even though Danny and I are 10 years apart, I feel like wala pa rin yung awkward gap, age gap. Most especially now that I'm older, I get to talk to you. That's my favorite about. part. I mean, I love their childhood, mm -hmm. but now is my favorite part with you guys because I get to bond with you on another level. Yes. Because when we were children, we were very mababaw. Our, our, our happiness was mababaw our talaga. Conversations, eh. Our conversations. Nice. Our conversations was like, okay, what movie are we watching? Yes. What junk are we ordering? Who are you playing with? Like all, yes. but now, cause it's like it's different experiences in all walks of life. Like so I think what we go through. This is my favorite part of having siblings because we can just simply run to each other now. Cause magkahaintindihan na kami lahat eh. Okay, the next question is: Do you think there is pressure and such in terms of being the eldest amongst our siblings? Oh yeah, I felt that all my life, most especially in the last seven years, mm. because. All my life, all I wanted was to be the best version of myself for you guys. I always had that pressure because I have a responsibility over you guys too. Even if you guys are not my kids. But to me, kasi, yes. you guys are my babies. Like mm -hmm. You were the first I was ever responsible for. Like I was not responsible for anybody but you guys. Like If anything happened to you, I would blame myself. And it also kind of affected my well-being. Because parang when I was getting older, all the decisions that I would make... You would doubt yourself. I would always doubt myself yes. or I would think 10 million times, how will this affect you guys? Up until I just did not think of myself anymore. And then I became very unhappy because I centered all my decisions on how you guys will look up to me, mm -hmm. how you'll respect me ever. But then the minute that like I felt that it was the time that for me naman to focus on myself, that was the time I hurt you guys naman. Mm. So that was a really big sacrifice for me to make. And I don't think people understood how badly it hurt me because at the time, it was the first time I was away from them. Like mm. away, away, like not even a travel. Yeah. But to like, talagang cut communication. I had no and I had no contact contact with them for I think four months, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. And that's long for siblings. That's yeah, and I really didn't know how badly it took a toll on all of them. I only found out how badly it affected my siblings when I saw them again. And that was the time I just felt the whole world like falling over me. I, I want to add on to that. I really do believe in the line, um, everything happens for a reason. Mm. So I feel like you had to experience that not only for us, but for yourself especially. Because like you said, you were so focused on us, how we're going to see you. Like there was so much pressure yeah. because you were basically our role model. Yeah. But 
this time when you were away from us, it was also a time to think about yourself. Yeah. Finding yourself, what you want to do in life, what you yeah. see, what you want to do in your future. So I really feel like it happened for a reason because look at her now, guys. Diba? Yeah. Actually, I mean, the pace, pace of my life now. changed after that. Exactly. And, and I we think, got closer. Yes. I think I also became a better person all around. The better person, better sister, better role model to them. Like, I wasn't any more yes. overthinking because they already knew what was happening with my life. And I think life. you were really just growing, Dan. Yeah. You know, you have to also think about that fact. That, that was the growing. phase I needed to go through. Yeah. How are you right now, like currently? I feel like that's such an important question to ask people. I think days. this is the best time of my life, talaga. Yes. When everything I ever prayed for or hoped for years ago, I'm living in it already. It's coming true. The family that I have now, which I thought I would never have. I know that it's openly telling you guys I just wanted a kid. And then all of a sudden I have a kid. I told everybody, ah, marriage is not my thing. And then the next thing you know what? I was married. Mm -hmm. It's like... Everything in my life that I thought that wasn't for me was for me pala talaga. Yes. The life that I have now has so much peace and contentment. And the minute that I gave myself a chance to like figure out na, hey, marunong ka pala sa ganyan. Yes. Like, hey, you're capable pala. That's the time I felt like, oh, damn, I still have a lot to offer pala. I wasn't limited to just yes. this. Like, I can do pa pala so much more. But now I feel so fulfilled as a person, as my own person, and as a wife, and as a mom, yes. and as a sister, and as a daughter. Like, I feel more accomplished in that sense. Na parang nakabawi na ako. Yes. If you were to connect what you were saying also a while ago, the time that you were away with us, who did you find? Yeah, I know. Javi. See? Like, Everything it took a course. For a reason. Yeah. And then we were able to meet Javi after she was able to reunite with us. We yeah. saw a much happier Danny Barreto. Yeah. Yeah. So it was really such a better time for you too. You needed that too. That space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you still remember your high school or college days? If yes, what are your favorite memories or certain events you remember up to this day? Yeah, I still do. I think the best part sa akin ng college, more so college, was mm -hmm. naging street smart talaga. Yes, yes. I yes, was able definitely. to figure out how to navigate my way through Metro Manila. Natry ko na lahat ng transportation, nag MRT, Commute. LRT, taxi, Commute. jeep, tricycle, pedicap, lahat yun ginawa ko ng college. And it was so much fun. Like, it was an experience. Parang alam ko na ngayon na kahit mawala ako, I'll find my way. And I met so much people in all walks of life. Like, from different provinces, different fields, different talents. Like, it was a different kind of ball game compared to high school. Kasi high school, you're stuck with each other for four yes, years. Ito really. kasi, every term, nag-shuffle kayo. So you meet new people all the time. You learn from these people. And you know, up to this day, it's so it's so nice to see that some of them, they dress in a Julia na. Yes. Some of my blockmates. Like, it's so nice to see. I actually did not live the life the fullest ng college. Mm -hmm. I didn't. Talaga ako po Marty ng college. Hindi na ako po Marcada. Yes, yes. Because I was, that time, I was starting my content creator life. So at that time, every time my event, after class, I would get MRT ako diretso sa events. You have to point out also, because we live in Quezon City, and where was your college? <laughs> I studied in CSB. Oh, see. So, That's so far. It's really, really far. far. Like, I had to wake up Four, five hours before my classes. Because the minute malit ka kahit two minutes sa MRT, wala ka lang space. Wala na, wala na. Ganyan. But like, it was really an experience. Ang saya talaga. Yun, doon ako nag-enjoy. Na naging, paano ba? Cowboy. That's the yes. term. Naging cowboy no, talaga ako point college. that out, I feel like that's what I want to also achieve. Learn, yeah. And learn when I'm in college. I want to see that. I'm Document now. that. I want to see him right up freaking MRT. I want to learn street smart <laughs> also. I have to know, man. You know, we can't always be... You'll, you won't fit the Jeep, you yes, know. You won't man. fit in the Jeep, my dude. <laughs> no, but I take taxis, no, man. I take oh. tricycles, no, man. I'm a humble... LRT. Kid. Okay, that's no, the vlog. Never, oh never. my God, that's our vlog. That's I am I going did. to teach him how to ride you public transportation. That's it. That's a treat for you guys soon. No, that's actually a good idea. That's Don't a good treat. That. She'll bring Ooh. me. She'll North bring to me. South, huh? Next question. Was it hard finding real friends during either high school and college? And are you still in contact with them in general? It's hard to find friends. That's why if you found your true friends already, your core group, hold them close. Because 
I think the thing about me was I experienced them all, like all kinds of friends who I thought was gonna be in my life forever, but ended up I have no contact to them now. Not because they've they done something to me, but it's just I think some friends you just grow, grow apart. Up. You grow up, you have different interests, you have different friends already. Yeah. Ganun lang. Life but happens lang talaga. I think I'm you okay guys now. know I only have like five to six core group friends and I'm very happy and with them. you should them. be proud of that. And you know what? My siblings are my friends too. So sometimes at a party, it's just four of my friends and then all of them are my siblings. I don't na seek big friendships. I seek quality friendships. Quality now. over yeah. quantity. Quality over quantity when it comes to friendships. Only the truest of friends. That's a follow-up question to the one I was able to ask you a while ago. So what advice can you give when it comes to finding real friends? I think that's how you grow up. Because when you grow up, your friends grow up with you too. So you see the Ano ba yung mga interests yung friends? Ano, do you still share the same values, morals? Does your friends make you better? Do they help you make you um, make the right decisions? Do they good influence, good influence in life? Do you grow together? Yun yung for keeps. But friendship that influences you to do things na hindi ka naman comfortable or against your morals, against your ganyan, those are the friends you know na that you don't keep. Yeah. Kasi... You are, eto guys ha, you are who your friends are. Yeah, that is so Keep true. Keep that in mind. That is so true. Kahit ikaw yung pinakamatinu sa barkada, mm -hmm. if lahat ng barkada mo, pare-pareho yung ugali, let's say lahat sila masama ugali, and they have a reputation, you will be tainted as the same person as your friends. Kasi kung hindi ka ganung tao, why are you hanging out with these people? Diba? Anong sasagot mo dun? You can't say I enjoy their company. Yeah. Yeah, but there are a lot of other people you can enjoy your company with. So I feel like as long as you're growing together and you make each other better, so the support important. is there. Walang ingitan sa friendship. Kung nakakataas ka ng konte, kung sino support ka ng friend mo. So you need friends who uplift you. You are who you surround yourself. With. Yes. So, what was your go-to food, naman, after school? Like I, that's such an interesting uh, question yes. to me. I always ask my siblings because yeah. we also live their normal lives before everything yes. else. Yes. Matatawa ka sa sagot ko. What? Fish balls. Okay. Yes. <laughs> High school pa lang ako hanggang college. E tough pa ako nag-aaral nun. Ang daming fish balls. Kung hindi fish balls. Favorite ko yung mang inasal. Dun talaga namin kami ni Tasing na discover namin yung only rice. <laughs> Pag nagtitipid kaming dalawa, ay wala na kaming chicken, pero may kanin kami. <laughs> so, mga inasal, only rice. Yan ang mga napuntahan ko. And bagnet. There's this bagnet place in Taft I've that never, we super I've never love. Eaten yet. It's really amazing. Okay. Like me and Sila Ryan and Sila yes. Tasing Nico, we would eat there all the time. This is a very light one. What is your comfort movie or show and why? Dalawa yung comfort movie ko. Isa, I normally watch like an old chick flick. Okay. Like probably an Adam Sandler movie of or course. Friends. Okay. I love to go back and watch Friends. Friends I know. Yeah. And then the other one is I, I like watching crime documentaries. It doesn't comfort me, but it makes me happy. Like, it's so interesting. Because she's so engaged and passionate <laughs> so, about it. Guys, alam mo in my past life, detective talaga ako. She becomes an investigator yeah, ang galing ko talaga. The, the, Promise. The detective talaga ako. She has her own theories. Like, and I'm mostly insane. always right. Like, really, ask my friends. They always say, if anything happens to them, ako dong magahanap sa nila. Because really, feeling ko in my past life detective ako. Yun yung weird sa akin. I love crime stuff, forensic, forensic stuff, mga mga ganyan. Natutuwa ako sa ganyan. I like wanting to solve things. It is interesting, naman. Come if on. I can't solve my problems, so crime salag ng iba. So, okay. Next question is, what made you want to become a fashion blogger before? Oh, my love for fashion talaga. Of course. Yun talaga at that time, guys. If you know me at that time, alam nyo na sobrang particular ko sa outfit. Lagi yes. ako nakabihis. As in, guys, ha, full on makeup, outfit, bracelet, Why sapatos. Why do you think all of us siblings learned how? Like, where <laughs> like, do you think we Yeah, I, I think... It was from Danny. It's really funny. Like, I used to be so into it talaga. She would style us every day. All the time. I would put makeup on them, fix their hair, I'll shoot them. She'll tell you, no, no, no. Like, yeah. it's not a good outfit. <laughs> diba, she, guys? I, I learned from her the most. That's yeah, how I like, it was really something I really loved before. 
Now naman, of course, I still, I'll always love fashion. I love dressing up. But I guess now, my priorities lang change. Of course. Parang ang dami ko ng ibang interests. But fashion will always be my number one. Like, it was all, it's where I started. It's like an art, actually, if you think about it. Yeah. Like expressing yourself. Dati, eternity. Tumblr pa lang ako nagsishare ng mga... What is your blog called again? <sighs> Style. Style is eternal. eternal. Our first photo shoot experiences was because of your blog. I know! And the funny thing is, before our village, kasi sobrang kondi lang ng mga bayan. Yes. And daming empty lots. Dung ko sila pirang popos! Yes. And it works, ah! Yeah! It's good. It, it was really fun. You know, they had a fun childhood. Nagawa ko silang mga dolls. In fairness, never sila nag complain. Yeah, we did. Never. It because we enjoyed it. <laughs> Because <laughs> they were picture of sila. Okay, so the next question is, what made you want to become a full-time social media influencer? And how has it changed your life? When the time that my vlog kind of boomed at that time, I just felt like the people wanting to know more about myself mm -hmm. and me having an outlet for when I want to share my feelings, whatever was happening in my life, my day, everything. I think that how liberated it feels to be able to express my emotions and other people expressing theirs also to me or nag-share kami na kanya-kanyang experience. They're learning from me, I'm learning from them. That's kind of how I enjoyed this, why it continued on for so long. For the past how many years, I still remember some of my followers from when I was blogging. They're still my followers now. And most of them already are nurses, lawyers. Some of them are designers na rin. Like, it's so great to see that there was my influence. Parang, I grew with them. So after that, it just ventured into many things. Naging more of like, naging platform na siya sa akin to share my opinions, to share my feelings, to share my life. No matter what I go through, people go through it with me, my followers go through it with me. And you know, sometimes, sila pa yung nakaka-uplift ng spirit yes. mo. Pag sobrang babang baba na yung confidence mo, or they always say that social media is like the number one outlet if you want validation. But it's not that anymore. Eh. Parang social media kind of evolved for me. It became a platform for the things I believed in. Yes. I believe in. Na parang okay, this is what I think motherhood is to me. And other mothers would tell me, this is how you do it, or like this is a suggestion, an opinion. It's nice to see that you know people are always willing to help. Yeah. In a sense, you have hope for humanity. When in times that parang feeling mo, everything is just not going right. So I think social media just became that to me. It became a platform for change, platform for hope, platform for comfort. That's why now, as I, go, as I get older, I'm trying to use it for me, sa sa tingin ko, I'm not wasting it. Yes. Because social media is a powerful thing. I think it's a message to all of you guys that social media is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be an outlet for you to express yourself, but it somehow became an avenue of hate kasi, for a lot of people. That's why it kind of it becomes discouraging. But if you're an influencer, you also have to use your voice for the right reasons. What do you stand for? Share your experiences regardless of the consequences. I'm not saying be wild and just, you know, say so many things, but if you're fighting, use your platform. Use your platform. You know, silence kills also sometimes. I know. Eh. Your silence speaks volumes. Sometimes the more you're quiet, the more people understand what your character is. Yes. More so kapag may kailangan kang pinaglalaban in that moment. Which is so timely now in what's happening with our world. Like, you have a voice, you have a platform. You're supposed to use it to inspire, to educate, to help. People that does not know anything. Ko ano yung hindi na reach ng mga tao. Iko dapat yung nagko convey. Iko yung tutulong. If you're quiet, then that does not make you an influencer. That makes some. Parang takot ka. Takot ka kasi baka mawalan ka ng followers. Takot ka matint yung pangalan mo. But at the end of the day, it's more of like what's more important to you. But you know the main reason why I wanted to ask you regarding social media is there's a lot of misconception that social media is being viewed as just a negative thing as yeah. a whole yeah it is it is na man like i also have to admit i had my fair share to see how toxic it is but mm. people also keep forgetting how there's so much positives to it yeah if you use it wisely and responsibly and if it makes you happy it could be also seen as something positive so yeah. i like how you're able to point out the advantages of social media and disadvantages also your life. like even though there are disadvantages Let's not forget that social media used to be this happy place. Yeah. Happy environment. And let's try to keep it 
that way. Diba? We hope for that. We hope for that. Okay, next. What advice can you give me when it comes to relationships? Be wise talaga. You be open-minded that when you enter relationships, you will experience all forms of pain, all forms of feelings, all kinds of love. Mm -hmm. You cannot be close-minded when it comes to relationships because it ruins a lot of things. Dapat you have to, um, in all aspects of relationship, trust, respect. I'm glad you're very respectful because I think you grew up with so much girls. Yes. That's why you're respectful sa mga babae. But yung pag-trust, loyalty, that's how your relationship gets challenged kasi. And of course, your commitment mm -hmm. to the person, to your relationship. That's something you learn as you get older. Because commitment is a big word. Yan eh. When you commit yourself to somebody, well, you're not going to be married anytime soon, holy Christ, please. <laughs> but commitment is a really big word. So I think when you just get into a relationship, and you know what? It may sound very holy to a lot of people, but God is very important in yes, a relationship. Yes, I know. I understand. You, for me, ang partner mo dapat make pareho kayong beliefs. Yeah. Kasi ang hirap pag hindi eh. Kasi parang ako, yung relationship ko kasi kay Javi before. Javi used to not believe in anything. He believes in science. He always says yeah. that. But now, he prays. Now, he believes that, you know, God blesses you. God returns the faith. May ganun na siyang belief ngayon about God. Dati wala talaga. But I think because in our lives, it, God always gave us everything we needed when we needed it the yes. most. God blessed us when Millie, we thought Millie was gonna die. She didn't die. Like, you know, the miracles of Christ, it worked in our relationship. So, like, really, in many, many forms. So, if you also believe in God, the both of you, anything is possible when God is centered in your relationship. It's very important. And that's it lang. Be open-minded. Never be close-minded and stubborn. Yes, I know that. Yon. I've witnessed you guys and your exes. So, I learned a thing or two from the... <laughs> Okay, my follow-up question naman to that question is, do you have an ideal girl for me? Yeah, I hope your girlfriend, I hope you don't have one now, but I hope your girlfriend is also family-oriented. Yes, that's who, important for me too. Yeah, who does not keep you away from us. Yes. Because there are relationships like that. And I hope that whoever your partner is, is secure with herself. So that hindi niya malash out sa you. Because I've experienced that. To have an insecure partner and lash it out yes. on me. And I hope that you guys inspire each other, grow grow together, uplift each other, support, support each other. Not in monetary forms, okay? Yes. I mean, in life, okay? Like your achievements, yeah. they support. What happens in your life, they support. Yes. I think that's it. The main thing, if you have all of that, if you have that kind of partner and you're like that to your partner, you'll have a really healthy end communication. Yes. Communicate all the time. That's the best advice I can give you because when you keep things, it becomes, it turns, magiging resentment siya, and then you'll hate each other and then you'll fight and then you'll separate. Mm -hmm. Communicate all the time no matter what it is. Nice. Relationship 101 yeah. advice from Miss B. <laughs> okay, next. What was your first reaction when you found out you were pregnant? I was very happy. You were very happy. I was ecstatic. Like, when I felt it palang, I said, oh my gosh, I think I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. When I felt that palang, I was overly, overly excited. I was trying to keep it to myself. I didn't want to take a test yet because I was so afraid na baka negative. Baka nasa isip ko lang. Because remember when we were in the States, I yes, kept saying, to right? Me, to you, you're my roommate. I want a baby, I want a baby, I want a baby. Whenever we see a kid, I yeah. mean, to Disneyland pa. So like, talaga it's baby mania. She just wants... Baby mania. Like, I kept telling him repeatedly. Yeah. And I was so afraid to buy a test because baka mag-negative. Iiyak talaga ako. Yeah. I would be so disappointed. Like, so, when I finally told Javi that I feel like I was pregnant, I took three tests and all three to tests sure. was positive and oh my god, I was the happiest person in the world. Oh wait, so the first test, when it was positive, what was your thought? Like, oh wait, I remember, I this? Banyo, so first test, I ako positive. And then Javi was like, take another one. And then, take okay, again. Okay, so Pag ko, okay, so excited na kami. Parang yung excitement namin. You were holding it. Parang go again yung excitement. Tapos nung finally, nung third one na paglabas ko, I'm really pregnant. When I said that, we just jumped. Aww. We were jumping, nag-iyakan kami. So we were just hugging each other for so long. It was one of the happiest moments of my life because I really wanted to be, I've always wanted to be a mom. I always told everybody, I've always wanted to be a mom, but not a wife. 
I'm weird. I'm just glad I have the best of both worlds. Yes. I have the best husband and I have a kid. So this is what the universe and God wanted for me. <laughs> okay, what was your reaction, man, when you found out it was a girl? Of course I'm happy because I'm happy. So wait, I have a question. Be honest now. Did you want a boy? But even though common sense now, I, I don't care about the gender, yeah. not the healthy baby, yeah. but did you have like, I kind of wanted the boy, I kind of want the girl? I had that. Na parang I think I always wanted the kuya first. Yes. Parang parang may iba naman kasi ate ako eh. Parang most of you guys yeah. actually want the boy first. Pero nung tumatagal, nung towards na na parang in the middle, mm. nung when I kept seeing mga baby clothes, I wanted the a girl. Kasi na-imagine ko na may best friend ako, may minimi ako, may binibihisan ako, and my God, that's Millie now. Yes. That's Millie now. That kid is more dressed than I am every day. Super. Like, and outfit changes, <laughs> my by God. the way. Hindi ka minimi, parang ako pa yung underdressed eh. Outfit changes. Outfit changes in a day, mga four. Mga four, max. Mag, dun ko parang okay lang pala girl. Tapos when Millie was born, she was, she's as feisty as me. So parang sabi ko, oh my God, if she is going to be like me, the ate that I am, then I'm glad. Yes. Then I'm glad. So sabi ko naman sa kanya, I always tell Javi, sana the next one na lang is a boy. Mm -mm. Diba? Kasi parang, I have na both. That's all I want. <laughs> a boy and a girl. How many kids do you want ba? I just want two. two. Boy max and is a girl. Three. Yeah, max okay. is three. If it's still a girl, then I'll try another one. <laughs> if it's still a girl, that's it. <laughs> okay, okay. How did you know that Javi was the one? I always knew. Nung naniligaw pa lang sa akin si Javi, the patience of that man. Kasi when I met Javi, that was the lowest point yes, of yes, my yes. life. Lowest of the lowest. And he stood by me. And imagine, this guy was a stranger. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't know him. We were never friends. So the fact that this guy was listening to all my problems and all my crying, he was not even shocked. Like, he still pursued me. You know, at the time, in the state that I was in, I was not a turn on. Alam mo yung hindi ako parang gusto mong ligawan? Kasi ang problematic ko, dami ko problema sa mundo. Eh, di ba when you have a girlfriend? Kung ano yung problema ng girlfriend mo, nagiging problema mo yeah. din. Why did you wanna get into that? Di ba? I was so... At the time, I was like, sadista ba tong lalaking to? Gusto ba niya ng problema sa buhay niya? At that point, I was like, how come this guy still would... Even if I wouldn't reply na, he would still text me so many times. He would go to me. Talagang the effort, yung pag-pursue talaga. He really showed how much he wanted to be with he me. He wanted to come in. Yeah. And he was very loyal. And he helped me build that bridge with you guys. Eh. Kasi at the time, a pride pa ako na parang, no, it's at the time. But I was so depressed. He knows that I was depressed because I missed my family yeah. so much. Siya na yung, I never met your family, but I want to meet them. So that was like... The turning point. The turning point. Na parang, I want to meet them. And you know, he didn't ask me to be his girlfriend up until he met my family. No, yeah. Javi was the first guy I introduced to my family na hindi ko pa boyfriend. Like, like courting pa. Yeah, he dating. did it the right way. Siyempre, na iba na yung nabuntis ako. Iba na yun. But, <laughs> ibang, ibang level na yun. Yung start naman namin, he was very polite. Like, diligawan din niya yung family ko. Like, each of my family members. I know, I remember the time when I saw Javi and Claudia talk for so long. I said, oh God, so Claudia is so hard to please. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, that's it. He's gonna be my boyfriend. Like, he's gonna stay in my life for so long. Because you, he took you to Comic-Con. Yes. And then... He went to the house. He went to he the house. Mahati. Yeah. He cooked for my whole clan. Yeah. Like, Pikey was still alive at that time. Talagang... Grabe yung pag-pursue niya. I don't know what he saw in me, to be honest. I was a wreck when he met me. Ang ganda mo daw Ang ganda ko, di ba? Ewan ko ba sa mga tao, feeling hindi ako maganda? Tinan mo ganda naman. Ang ganda, ganda ko. Nice. <laughs> no, but you see, I always knew that he was going to be my last because I didn't want not to find as very content with my relationship. It was relationship. actually long. If you think about yeah. it, like when you were dating and before you became official, Dude, Were like you kind of like, months. why aren't you asking? No, dude, I really was. You know, I was the first one who said, I love you. Because he was taking forever. I'm really like, is this guy ever gonna ask me? My God. Like, I was so mad already. Na parang, I remember I was drunk and I told him, God, God, what's the plan? <laughs> what's the plan, my dude? Like, hindi na uso yung walang hindi label. Hindi na uso walang label. Parang ako, grabe naman. Hindi pa ba tayo? Ganyan. As in, may ganun na ako sa kanya. And when we got together, 
I really kept waiting for him not to propose. I wanted him to propose already. And mind you, I never believed in marriage. I really never. I was openly open, very open with that. Next, how does it feel naman to be a mother in general? It's the best job in the world. It's the best feeling in the world. No other love will ever compare to your love for your kid. That's all I can say. You feel like you've felt all kinds of love. You'll never feel true love unless you have a kid. Because yun na yung purest form of love. Eh. It's a connection that will never break. Forever yun eh. You, you'll, she'll always be my daughter and I'll always be her mom. You'll be stuck with each other. We're no stuck with what. each other no matter what. There's a bond that's never gonna be broken, talaga. And I've always wanted to be a mom. I'm very motherly to all my siblings. Yeah. I'm actually more strict than my mom sometimes. <laughs> my mom would tell me to, to tell us, to, to make pagalitan, to call us, tone it down a notch, down. or like, wag ka masyadong galit. Ganyan, ganyan. I have this certain protectiveness Motherly sa mga instinct. kapatid ko talaga na minsan nagbablackout ako kahit sino na inaaway ko talaga. Wala na akong pakialam. <laughs> That's why I think when I became a mom, it became so natural to me because I always saw them as like my own also. Yeah. Ganun din, same love. Same love. What valuable lessons would you like to teach Millie when she is older? Oh my God. Questions get harder. Sorry. <laughs> the <laughs> values. Well, first and I always want her to be honest with us. Yes. I want her to be open with us. There's. I want to have a friend-parent kind of relationship but Gusto ko alam niya yung boundary doon. And I want her to be respectful. Kahit gano ko ka problem child ng bata ako, respectful ako sa lahat ng tao talaga. Yes, super. In fairness naman sa akin. She never answered back yeah. any type of story. You know? And I think I just want her to be kind. You'll never go wrong with a kind heart. Kindness will. Kindness will. There. It goes a long way. At the end of the day, that's the most important thing. I don't want her to have a hateful heart. I want her to have so much love, so much kindness and peace. peace and generosity towards people. I don't want her to be selfish. Because I'm very giving to everybody Super. that I love. She's kind of too giving, honestly. It's not na lahat sa akin, Yun lang yun. That's all I pray for every night, that she grows up to be a good kid. You know, that I won't have to question myself where I got, where I went wrong. <laughs> what made you want to start your own respective business, The Mill? Like, what inspired you to venture into that type of business? I just felt like my life should head somewhere. Mm -hmm. That I felt like I should... There's a different direction I needed to take. Because I was not content with... Parang I felt like I needed to do more. Mm -hmm. Na, I love my job. I'll always love my job. I'm grateful for my job. It got me to where I am. Brought me to places. Mm -hmm. I experienced and worked with the greatest brands I could ever think of. But I felt like I need to do something for myself. Yung parang... Yung masasabi kong akin, mm -hmm. yung stinart ko, it grew. I, I wanted to see it grow like a, like my baby, you know. It Parang, is your baby. It is my baby. The mill is my baby. I just felt like there was a potential there that I knew I could do. I just needed to believe in myself a you little wanted, bit. You felt yeah. Like you can do more. Whatever happens to me, I want to leave something to her, whether she continues on or whatever. But I want her to be proud of me someday. I want her to know that I did this all for her. Yon. So that's why I think I love the mill so much. It's literally her name. Yeah, it's, it's, it's her. <laughs> Alam mo, every time she touches her eyes, I'm like, are you? Okay? Hindi talaga ako miya, I promise. Yung makeup ko talaga na na kasi. This one is going to be good. Super ganda ka dito sa question ito. Oh How do you balance being a social media influencer, wife, friend, mom, <laughs> daughter, sister, YouTuber, CEO of the mill, and a business partner in multiple businesses with life in general? I do a lot, but I love it. Yes. I love it. I'm I so love, passionate about I really it. love it. I love that I'm involved with my family's lives. I love that. I'm a good mom. I, I'd like to say I'm a good mom mm -hmm. because my daughter naman loves me. Even if I'm busy, like, I love the fact I established that relationship with her that I don't neglect it also. I just want to take care of that until mm -hmm. she grows up. Because as you grow older, pag lumalaki yung business mo, mas nagiging busy ka din kasi. So I want to be able to always find time regardless. Yeah. And 
for me, being a good wife is not a challenge if you have a good husband. Mm -hmm. It goes both ways. If you have a good husband, why the heck will you be a bad wife? It takes two right? to tango. Like, asama na mo ng ugali mo, na ang bait ang asama mo, tapos asama na ang ugali mo. Parang ano mo naman, <laughs> di ba? Balance naman tayo dito, okay? Like, reciprocate the love. Yes, yes, of course. Di ba? So, parang it's not a challenge for me. And so my, for my siblings, they're the most supportive team in the world. Like, regardless of whatever I get into, they're always my cheerleaders, all of them. And my mom also, my mom gives the best advice when you need it. She has so much wisdom. And I understand her now more than ever because I'm also a mom now. You know, the balance is not hard when you love what you do and you love the people that comes with it. You really so, have to be passionate about yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. And everything that you do, ha? Because... You'll not excel also in life if you don't like what you're doing. But you'll be unhappy. Yeah, I, I love my job. Eh. I love them all. Like, four of them. I love them. Like, I think there's more to that than that. Eh? I think. I don't know. But I love them all. Because it's rooted from what I feel to me. My capabilities. Eh. May talents pala ako. Alam mo yun? naman, Dan. Gabi naman. Hindi, alam mo naman ako dati kasi tatamad-tamad kasi talaga ako dati. Kampante na ako sa life ko kasi I had no responsibilities. But the minute nagka-responsibility ako, you it takes you in pala. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. I can do Ang that. Ang dami mo palang kayang gawin all of a sudden kapag may binabayaran ka. Okay. So, to sum up what she was trying to say a while ago. So, it's really not about focusing on balancing it. It's just mm. really focusing on finding the different things that you love. Yeah. It's really, you have to be passionate, you have to love what you're doing for you to keep moving forward. Yeah, the minute that you don't like what you're doing, everything will fall. You'll yeah. be unhappy. You have to be happy. Hindi mo nagagalingan sa work. Kasi ayaw ginagawa mo eh. You're not as motivated. Yeah, hindi ka na as inspired, as motivated. And kikwestiyonin mo na yung sarili mo, tumatanda na ako. I'm not getting any younger. Hindi naman tayo tumatanda pa orong eh. Diba? So, as you get older, kailangan lahat sa buhay mo gumugrow din with you. If there's no personal growth, what are you doing? Diba? Anong ginagawa mo sa life mo? Do you wanna look back five years from now and re have so much regret? You don't want that in your life. You want to look back and be happy because you've done it. Like you've done what you're doing, what you love, or you've done what you love. It's more of like you're not wasting your life because you know your life's you too short. Gotta live every moment. Life's too short. So live life to the fullest. Live life, do what you love. Ayo mong mamatay bukas na unhappy ka. Eat, yun lang pray, yun. love. <laughs> okay, okay. What do you like to do in your free time? If oh, I, I really just drown in my Netflix. <laughs> in whatever I'm watching at the moment. And I order so much food. And I drink my wine. Yes. That's how I enjoy my quiet time. Really, it's, it's so babaw. I don't go out. Ah. Like, rarely. <laughs> rarely. I watch my crime documentaries and drink a bottle of wine and I'm happy. <laughs> Really, and we fresh bed sheets with we my love fresh that bed simple sheets. Life. Okay, next. What you're doing right now, would you consider it your passion and purpose and why? Oh, yeah. That's, yun na yun. That's what I'm meant to do. It's always been this. It will, it, it, parang everything that happened to me in the past, it was because God was preparing me for what's gonna happen in my life now. So, paladate, when you question God, why are you going through this? Why me? It's because of this. Years after, you realize it's because if you didn't go through that, you wouldn't appreciate the life you have now. Mm -hmm. This is my purpose. Everything I'm doing because I love everything I'm doing. Wala akong hindi mahal. I love my job. I love my family. I'm not unhappy. I'm very peace. At, I'm very at peace. The last and final okay, question. Okay, patay tayo Okay. Hindi naman mahirap. Okay, hindi mahirap. What advice can you give not only to me but to anyone when it comes to finding their own passion and mm. purpose in life? You know, passion can be very subjective. Mm -hmm. It can be a lot of things kasi. It's not only yung talent. Yes, yes. Hindi lang yun I eh. understand. At this age, if you already find, lalo na sa inyo, mga college students mm -hmm. kayo, this is the time, yung four years ang buhay nyo in college. Four years lang kayo ah. Kasi ako medyo tagal ko sa college eh. Sa four years mo, dapat isipin mo na doon yung path na gusto mong itake. Mm -hmm. If hindi ka happy sa course mo, mag-switch ka na ng course yeah. mo. Kasi ang mahirap kasi diyan, if hindi mo gusto yung course, wala well, si hindi ka naman magpa-practice. Tapos ang bagsak mo din naman yung gusto mong gawin. 
eh di pag-aralan mo na yung makakatulong sa sa future mo. Yun kasi ako eh, parang at the time, I loved fashion. So, I took up fashion design. But in the middle of my course, hindi na yun yung gusto ko all of a sudden. Business na yung gusto ko. So, ngayon, if babalik ako sa school, business yung itetake ko. Yung parang ganun. Make those four years count when you're at this age and you're in college. So, four years yan, really reflect on your life. Kung yung gusto mong gawin, where you want to be five years from now. If you're passionate about this, then, you know, passion is not hard to find. People know what they want to be. It's just they have their reasons. It's like, eh, wala kasing pera sa field na to eh. Di ba, laging minsan ganun There's yung... There's different external may factors. May ganun, may factor eh. That. You think of a lot of factors or walang pera, walang job opportunity dito, ayaw mo mag-migrate. Like, maraming ganun. Minsan may complications that comes with your passion. But if you're passionate, but you'll your find passion a way. But your passion is your passion eh. You'll find a way. Yeah. Pero, pra- mag- pero maging practical ka din. Kasi kung let's say nga, ganun yung passion mo, di pagsabayin mo na lang, di ba? Maganda rin naman yung kumikita ka tapos nagagawa mo yung passion mo eh. Bonus. But bonus na lang yun. But for you, it's always just whatever it is, always take into account all the other things. Isipin mo lang kung ano yung mga consequences. Kaya mo ba? May, may pera ka. Practical. Yung passion mo also has to come with practicality. Hindi pwedeng passionate ka gagawin mo lang. Kailangan realistic ka din eh. Kasi minsan may mga passion na... Because you might end up being disappointed. Yeah. Also. Or baka feeling mo yun lang yung passion mo ngayon kasi hobby mo siya ngayon. But hobbies changes too. You have phases in life. Like, like sabi ko ngayon, I was so passionate about fashion design. But then I realized that wasn't pala my end goal. Mga ganyan, just go through the process. Don't skip... Because that's what I did. And I regret it. Now I want to go back to school. But it's not too late for me. So stuff like that. It's like, just be, just just live your life the way you want to live your life. Kasi para sa akin, a lot of, you know, this pandemic made me think na ang life is short pala talaga. Kung hindi ko gagawin ngayon, kailan ko gagawin. If I don't say yes to this, when will I say yes to this? When I don't go to this country, when will I go to this country? It's more of like, isipin mo na lang na yung boy mo, sobrang, you're, you're on borrowed time. So, what are you going to Both do time. with that time given to you? Hindi natin alam kailan tayo mamamatay, di ba? But I know for sure, I don't wanna die with regrets. Or, I don't wanna die thinking I've not done what I wanted to do. I've, I didn't say what I needed to say to certain kinds of people. No. I will speak my mind. Regardless of how you feel, basta alam kung wala akong regrets. So that is the last question. Um, I wanted to take this chance to thank you for also um, being here as my guest, um, giving your time despite your very busy schedule, especially today. Such a good person. Her voice is so tired. Um, <laughs> she's so sleepy. She started her day early, but she made time and effort to actually join us today. I was able to learn so much, and I hope my viewers also has learned a lot from. Her words, because her stories. You make time for the people yes, you love. Her experiences, all for every day. So thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. And um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below what you'd like to see next, either with Danny again. We don't know. She also needs suggestions for her hmm. own channel. Di ko mo girlfriend ah. Please, pag mo girlfriend. Ma pag ano ka na, twenty five. Please subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you.